is DK and today I made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. It was an absolutely terrible day. Well, it's like kind of like a day and a half. It was absolutely terrible. So stay tuned and stick around. We ain't playing around. First off, we do have a low from our carrier company. We are going to drive 21 deadhead miles, 86 miles loaded. So 107 miles altogether for 215. About to pull up and get green. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. It's time for us to run it up. It say ring the bell. Maybe it's this bell. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if that joint made no noise or not. Last time I had to knock on the joint. So they can get me right, baby. How you doing, sir? Good, you? I'm going to have a load to pick up to go to Chicago. I wasn't expecting you until 3 o'clock. Oh, really? Crap. They told, me they, they told me it was ready now. Oh, it is ready now. Oh. Problem is... Oh, um, y'all are fixing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, uh... Is it pretty heavy or no? It's this black container. I mean, it's, oh. it's heavy enough, right? Like, I'm not trying to injure anybody. Like, I know two people could probably lift it. Um, but let me, uh, let me clear out one side of those boxes. Okay. And I'll get you going. Okay, okay. thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it, sir. Give me 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, something like that. All righty. So that's gonna add an extra 20 minutes of wait time which is going to add about 30 minutes of more traffic traffic look for my chapstick because guess what it's in the middle of the day but it's time for us to get it clapping hey baby bay. yes sir y'all see what's going on Right there is perfect. There nice and right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You got the paperwork or you gotta go get it? I just gotta turn it off real quick. Alrighty, thank you. Uh, just like that, it's time to let the road and get our pockets on the phone. Let's go. We are finally here at the drop off. It's been critical. I'm talking about so much traffic. Traffic. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I have a drop off for you guys. Coming from uh, Start Event. I usually go to the Yellow Dock or something. I think that's what it's called. Yellow Dock. You know where it's at? Yeah. Can you reach out to them? Because sometimes they don't be coming out for a while. Huh? I said, can you reach out to them? Let them know that I'm coming. You can't call. Well, push them. She called. Dispatcher is gone. She stepped out. Okay. The one with the vest on, right? Okay, I'll let her know. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so you're gonna go around this curve and then turn right, and they want you to go in at LCL one. She wants you to just go to her office. LCL one. So well, it there's a door right next to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go around here, go and that way. You go straight, like you'll see LCL nineteen, and then you just go all the way down, and yep. then there's L so past LCL nineteen. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. Well, keep going right. It's that long stretch of docks you saw when you came in. Uh huh. There's a door right next to LCL1. You go in there and just go straight down. There's an office right there. Okay. All right. Are you expecting someone to come bring you some paperwork? Yes. I hope so. I guarantee that you are material you have is for me though. You said what? I didn't hear you. I don't guarantee that the, the material you have is for me though. I don't think it is because normally when we come here, I go to the yellow docks. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I'm going to go back. Go back. So this is the question. See, this paperwork saying one thing, the dispatcher told me another thing. Normally, normally I come here. Normally, um, I don't know why everything, as soon as they do a NLMI, mm -hmm. it defaults to LC dock. Mm. So they just looked at the dock right here. They didn't even bother to look at the trailer or anything. If he right. would open that trailer, as soon as I told him 204, he checked. Right you can away. see it right there. Yeah. Okay. So, it tells so I got to go back there. I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not my just your fault. Thank you. So I know you're wondering right now what is going on. I was wondering too. Let me tell you guys. I'm giving you a whole full breakdown. 
We have done this low multiples of times. We probably done it like five or six times. The first two or three times we did this low, the dispatcher told us to go to this drop off location. We went there and every time we went there, they told us that we need to go to this other address and not that address. They sent us to the wrong place. So we like, why don't we keep on going through the same thing over and over and over? Why don't we just go to the real address we're supposed to go to? This time we did that. We get there. First off, I already knew it was already kind of messed up already. Anyway, normally when we go there, we pull up to the thing. The lady, the, it's usually a dude right there. He say, boom. He reached out to the people at the yellow docks. That's why I said it's something about the yellow docks to the, uh, the first lady, the dispatcher. Go to the yellow docks. We go to the yellow docks, they unload us every time. This time they talk about we gotta walk up to the front and talk to these ladies. Then they tell me the dispatcher gone. I talk to her. I tell her, boom. She say, okay, yeah, go to this office. I've never been to that office before. I don't know nothing about the office. I've never seen the office. I ain't even know nothing about the other side of the building. So that was the first thing that went wrong. So the lady tells us what she tells us. She said, boom, you're at the wrong address, go to the other address. Now, mind you, this is my fault anyway, because I should have went to the one that was in the app instead of one the other one, which normally it's just fluky. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's fluky because every other time we have went to that address we went to the first place. So they told me to go to the other address. So that's my fault. So I'm not going to blame the dispatcher and, and then blame the carrier company for my mistake. So it is what it is. So we go there. We get there, right? We pull up at 413. We go to the gate. We talk to the lady. Yeah, we here to drop off this low. Woo -woo. Guess what? The fork truck drivers that usually unload everything, they are gone for the day. They leave at 4 o'clock. So now we have to reach out to our dispatcher and let them know, look, they saying that we have to come back tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Guess what? We sit there and waited for one hour and 30 minutes for them to find out what's going on. And finally, they told us, yes, you got to come back tomorrow at six o'clock. Guess what else? Let me say, hey, hey, I got to print it up before you. Guess what? Finally, we leave, right? We going towards home and we hit full blown traffic. I'm talking about traffic area, traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. I'm talking about traffic galore. We leave there at like five, what time was it? 5.30 almost. We leave there right around 5.30ish and we didn't get home until 7.30. So now we get home at 7.30 and guess what? We gotta get up in the morning and leave the house by 4.30 in the morning and I gotta get up like at 1.45. So I'm talking, I'm talking about super exhausted, tired. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Y'all know my folks take like the flu. I thought y'all knew. So now I'm about to pull up and run it up. Hey, if you hating, so what? Let's go. The next day. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, what? How you doing? I'm living a dream. I can't complain. I woke up this morning. There you go. Some people didn't make it. Some people didn't make it. Right about that. Right about that. Make it, man. The graveyard ain't cool no Hey, more. hey, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I'm trying to stay away from it. <laughs> That's why I make my money. I go home. I got time to be playing out here. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. So, a few things I did forget to mention to you guys. For us doing a layover, a layover is when you have to stay overnight or drop the, uh, the load off the next day. We did actually get an extra $150 for having to come back to drop that load off. But I will say this, it was absolutely not worth it. It was not worth it at all. Because the pickup location uh, that we picked up the first, the, the order from in the first place, it's probably like 35 minutes from my house, 30 minutes from my house. So an extra 30 minutes and we got $215 instead of one fifty. We have to go all the way home and then come all the way back and then go all the way home again. And we're on our way home, guess what? We ran into traffic yet again. So all together, it probably took us eight hours. It probably took us eight hours all together to do that whole setup. Like eight hours and it was definitely not worth it. But we did make $365 when I fix a pop our collar. I got my game from a scholar. When they hit me, they holler. Now, we do have two more orders. We're about to go ahead and get an order. Guess where we going? Walmart. We're about to go to Walmart. We're about to go to Walmart. And guess what app we're using? Rody, Rody, Rody with a devil wrench. We are going to do some Rody orders. We're about to go ahead and get an order. The first one is a TV. We're gonna drive five miles and receive a payment of $23.03. We're gonna pull up and get that cheese. And then order number two, y'all already know my flow like the flu. I thought y'all knew. This one is picking up two like boat flex items, like some weights, two things of weights. We're gonna drive nine miles for 25, 27. 25, 27, three up, 25, 27. 25, 27, three up. All right, if you can put put that in first. Yeah. Oh. You ain't a standing up. No, standing up. Alrighty. Grab this and I'm gonna slide this part in my car. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your help. 
You too. So guess what? We have another problem. I went to Walmart and the guy told me I cannot take both orders at the same time, at the same time. But I'm really not complaining about that because it's gonna be super sweet. It's only like five or six miles down the road. It's not gonna be long at all. Now, Paul, that was crazy. But we're gonna pick up the TV, then we're gonna come back, then we're gonna get the weights, and then we're gonna get to this money and don't hate, let's go. And we are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. Let's see if the customer is home before I take the joint off the van. Even though I can't leave it. We're gonna see. I wanna make sure they're home. If they not, guess what? We're leaving you by the Leave by the front door. A few moments later. Hey, how you doing, Diane? My name is Jerome. I'm the delivery driver. I have your TV from Walmart. Oh, uh, I, I got it in the van right now. I just I'm the one that just run your door, but I'm not sure if you're home or not. So what was your? Oh, okay. So, what would you like me to do? Take take it back to the store. Well, we have another issue, baby. We have another problem. So I get to the drop off location, drop off the TV. I I ring the doorbell. No one answers. I reach out to the customer. I let them know, yes, I'm here with your TV from Walmart. I'm the delivery driver and all that stuff. So boom, they like. Well, they said they weren't supposed to come until Saturday. I'm like, well, I have the TV in the van right now. They just gave it to me and they told me to bring it here. Look, this is not even her TV. This is her son's TV. And he is moving in his apartment on Saturday. That's when he's supposed to drop it off. So, unfortunately, he don't even live there yet. So, I don't know what happened with Marmar or Rody. I don't know who tweaked, but somebody tweaked. So, guess what? I'm like, she's like, is it possible that you can bring it to my house instead which is actually kind of on the way to walmart it's a little off but not exactly off i mean it's not exactly on the way but it's kind of like out the way a little tiny bit probably like three minutes out the way for me to go drop the tv off to her house right so i'm like yeah i could drop the tv off she's like okay she gave me the address and everything i reach out to roadie i'm like look the customer asked me can they switch the address can they switch it to this address instead of the one i, I dropped it off to i'm trying to drop it off to because they don't live here guess what roadie told me Rody told me, unfortunately, we can't do that. You need to return the TV back to Walmart. And then they switched everything in the app. So I'm like, okay, dang. So now what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to call the lady back and let her know, hey, they told me I gotta take it back to the store. So I just, what I gotta do, they the one paying me. But guess what? When I try to call her back, they had switched the app to actually go back to the store instead of the customer house. So now the contact uh, information is the store and not the customer house. So I'm like, dang, now I'm gonna sit this lady off and I told her I was about on my way, I was gonna come drop it off, no problems, because I thought I could do it in the app. I didn't sit the lady off, I told her I was gonna drop it off, and now I can't drop it off. And I, look, this is what I'm thinking in my head. I know y'all wondering right now, why don't you just go to her house anyway, because it's only three minutes out the way, and then tell her that, and then go back to the store. And I'm thinking in my head, like, why, that's even worse than me not going at all. I would rather not go and just drop it off at the store than go to her house with the TV in the van, tell her, oh yeah, we can't drop this off to you. Uh, you gotta, they're gonna reschedule for Saturday and then just take it back to the store. That don't make sense to me. So unfortunately, I had to send the customer off. I, if you're watching this video, I apologize. I wasn't really trying to do that. I wasn't really on that. But they told me to take it back to the store. So that's what we gotta do. Y'all know my folks six like the flu, let's go. Yes, sir. So I actually have to return this one because the customer, the customer said you guys weren't supposed to, we weren't supposed to deliver it until Saturday. Um, they don't move into the apartment to the end. So I actually Ooh. tried to still take it to the next house, but Rody told me I couldn't do it. They told me to bring it back to the store. Got it. Okay. So this one is right here. Uh, I could put that one in first. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, we'll take this Oh, that's in. that bow flex. Oh, that's a smart, that's like that bow flex key. Yeah. They about to get right, ain't they? Right there. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Yep. He is right here. You want me to help you take it or are you good? Oh, I got it. You okay. sure? I'm there. So we're good. All right, I gotta take a photo of it and we're good to go. Uh, hand it to recipient. Step back and with the photo. Y'all know those? Smack. Thank you very much. We have a good one, sir. And just like that, we are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. They about to get right. They about to be getting right with these weights. They trying to be great. Put these right here. Wow. Leave it at the front though. 
Step back, hit him with the photos. Man. We gone. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I know, I know, I know. Why do I have on different clothes now? I have on different clothes because guess what? Not only well, did we have a terrible day and a half, I also actually erased the end of the video on accident, baby. So it is what it is, baby. So now I gotta do it again. We are here getting dividends to win. Now, in this video, we made $436.33, enough money to pay the rent. We round around the bins with no tent. I'm gonna tell you guys all of my mistakes. Number one, on that first load, I shouldn't have took that low, and if I did take it, I should have put a, uh, I should have bid it at a higher amount because it was in the middle of the day, and we ran into traffic, traffic. I'm looking for my charity. Number two, number two is I don't really know if I can really count this as a, as a mistake. I can, but I can't at the same time. I'm gonna explain to you why. Now, number two was going to the address we went to versus going to the address we were supposed to go to. The reason why we did that was because every time we do this thing, every time we jump off this low, we go to the same exact address every time, and every time before that, they have sent us to that address. So we're like, why, why play games? Why don't we just go to the one we're supposed to go to, but we were wrong. So comment below and let me know what you think about that. Number three with the TV. Look, it was just real. It was just real with the TV. It kind of was my fault, but kind of not my fault. I was going to call the lady back and let her know that we can't make it. But I was thinking in my head, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking that it would be worse for me to do that versus just take it back to the store because I don't want to pull up to her house and say, we can't give you this TV and it's right in the van. That's, I think that that would be kind of rude and disrespectful in my opinion. That's my opinion. But comment below and let me know about that. So those are the things that I did wrong. I always, I, I, look, whenever something happens in your life, you always have to be held accountable because it's your life. I tweak a lot of times in this video, but it is what it is. You have to learn and earn, and if you hate, it ain't your concern. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And guess what? Lock in for the next video. Y'all don't want to miss this. The next video is going to be crazy. I'm going to tell you guys right now. So make sure you lock in. I'm about to go out here and get these dividends and win. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.